The Russians lost at least five divisions of armored vehicles and tanks in the Pokrovsk direction over the course of a year, according to a report by the Institute for the Study of War. On October the 4th, User X, who tracks visually confirmed losses of Russian equipment and hardware in Ukraine, confirmed that Russian forces have lost 1,830 pieces of heavy equipment in the Pokrovsky district since October the 9th, 2023. During offensive operations in the Pokrovsky district, Russian forces lost a total of 539 tanks and 1,020 infantry fighting vehicles, while Ukrainian forces destroyed 381 tanks and 835 armored vehicles, the report says. In addition, according to his data, Russian troops also lost 26 infantry vehicles, 22 multiple launch rocket systems, 11 towed artillery systems, and 92 unarmored trucks. Moreover, since September the 6th, 2024, Russian troops have lost 25 tanks and 59 armored vehicles in the Pokrovsky district. At the same time, ISW analysts note that since not all losses of Russian equipment are visually documented, the actual number of losses of Russian equipment in the Pokrovsk area is probably much higher. Since October 2023, Russian forces have advanced only 40 kilometers in the Avdiivka Pokrovsky operational direction, and the loss of more than five divisions of equipment for the sake of such tactical successes cannot continue indefinitely without fundamental changes in Russia's ability to resource its war. As the ISW notes in the long term, Russia will likely find it difficult to adequately supply its units with military equipment without putting the Russian economy on a war footing and significantly increasing the pace of defense industrial production, something that Russian President Vladimir Putin has tried to avoid so far. Experts say that seizure of Volodar serves as a warning as Ukrainian forces brace for a battle for the highway and rail hub of Pokrovsk regarded by Moscow as vital for incorporating all of the Donetsk Oblast, the city of Pokrovsk possesses important industrial facilities and its seizure would severely disrupt Ukrainian supply lines along the Eastern Front as well as evacuations of wounded soldiers. If we lose Pokrovsk, the entire front line will crumble, Ukrainian military expert Mikhailo Zyrokov recently warned. The Russian forces have destroyed approximately 80% of critical infrastructure in Pokrovsk. The population of Pokrovsk has significantly decreased, with only 13,050 residents remaining, compared to over 48,000 just six weeks ago. Ukrainian officials continue to implement an evacuation plan that has been ongoing for several weeks. Russia's elite marines have suffered four times higher losses during a year of fighting near Volodar in Donetsk Oblast than during 10 years of the Second Chechen War, the BBC News Russia reported. Kyiv's forces announced the withdrawal from the key Donetsk Oblast settlement on October the 2nd after Russian forces swarmed the town's flanks and entered Volodar itself. Lying in the southern part of the region, roughly 40 kilometers east of the administrative border with Zaporizhia Oblast, Volodar has faced a heavy Russian onslaught since 2022. The elite 155th and 40th Marine Brigades of the Russian Armed Forces, also known as the Black Berets, were involved in the storming of the city supported by armored vehicles. The Marines were also assisted by motorized rifle units manned by mobilized and volunteer personnel. According to the BBC, at least 211 Marines from the 155th Brigade were killed during the battle for Volodar, with another 42 missing. This far exceeds the unit's losses during the decade-long Second Chechen War in 1999 to 2009, the media outlets report showed. BBC journalists were also able to confirm the deaths of 72 Russian soldiers from the 40th Brigade. According to the BBC, the seriousness of the losses is confirmed by the fact that both brigades began using Storm Z units made up of convicts. Ukraine's 72nd Mechanized Brigade had defended Volodar, the key to Ukrainian defenses in the southern part of Donetsk Oblast, for nearly two years without rotations. After withdrawing from the town, the 72nd Brigade's troops moved 
to a new defense line to continue holding back Russian forces. Arseny Prylepko, a spokesperson for the 72nd Separate Mechanized Brigade, told Gromadsky. Two undisclosed soldiers from the same brigade told Suspiln that their unit continues to hold the defenses in the same direction near the occupied city. According to one of the service members, some battalions that suffered significant losses during the battle for Volodar will be based in Donetsk Oblast, 10 to 15 kilometers from the front line. During this time, they are going to be replenished. The rest of the units will hold the defense in this direction, the soldier said. Another soldier said the brigade remains in the same area because there is no one to replace it. During his address on September the 30th, President Volodymyr Zelensky said that Ukraine faces a very challenging situation on the front lines. Apart from Volodar, Russian forces have been focusing their efforts against the Donetsk Oblast towns of Pokrovsk and Toretsk where outnumbered and outgunned Ukrainian soldiers are slowly losing ground under Russian pressure. Russian troops also appear to be preparing for assault operations in the southeastern Zaporizhia Oblast, where the enemy is amassing personnel, the Ukrainian military's Southern Command spokesperson Vladislav Voloshin said.